Welcome back to the channel. Now I'm out yet again. Break problem, break problem, break pro problems. Can't talk even anymore. Uh, I was thinking to sell this Avaris so someone else could take over and fix the rusty on the side of it. So I was just out using it a couple of days because I have some problem with the brakes on my Camry. And then I start to get some winding noise in the front. Seems to be the brake pad maybe is worn down. I come into some uh, rustling metallic things I think that make this uh, noise. So just bought some brake pads today and just uh, try to change and see if we fix the problem. Can't sell it with this noise. How to be better than this. Looks like it could be worn a lot. Hopefully this is the only problem. So I think we have the Okay, 13 millimeter. Thirteen millimeter. Just ordinary bolts. Then the caliper is coming off. And this, I think, is very worn out. This uh, is uh, far out. Okay. It's need a new This is finished. No wonder. It start to make noise. Yeah, see the problem? I just hope the new brake brakes I got, brake pads, is the right one. Yeah, one I was taking off. And New ones to put on. <laughs> yeah, it's finished. Completely finished. <laughs> no wonder it made noise. Outside it was a little left, but <coughs> nothing compared to what it's supposed to be. Yeah, very, very simple to put on. Now I have to push this together, and I have a tool for that. This tool is made for pressuring in brakes. Okay. 
det kom between and when you screw it out it pressure in the cylinder Squeezing, He's squeezing that one in slowly to wait to the brake fluid pressure up because this one is this one is so screwed up that it's kind of uh, difficult. Should I had someone holding the camera, but I don't have. Just take a little bite. Now screw it in completely. Just take off this one again. This tool, everything is just like a dream. There, screw back. Screw back. This is thirteen millimeter. No wonder they start to make noise. Come into this and this rattler start to hit the brake disc and make the rattling noise. Completely finished. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, very, very simple fix. You just do the other side and then happy days. Huh? <laughs> That's good. Yeah, seems bad on the other side, but seems to be exactly the same problem here. So this brake is ruined on both sides. It's not that it has been bad on one. Just a little better on this side than the other. You see, it's so simple just to change this. to get it to go into where it's supposed to
Okay. This side was a little better than the other. Just have to get a screwdriver to bend it out. Get the screwdriver to get this one. This one had a little more. We change it anyway. The sliding parts here. Kind of dirty on this side. And then you see this one is all too much out here too, but we have the two, you remember? Yeah, screw it back. See here. Just hang this one back. And it should go on without any problem. There. And just simple the two thirteen millimeter bolts. Yeah. Now that problem should be fixed. It's very, very fast. The rubber here was okay. No problem. You see, here coming some wet. The brake fluid reservoir on the top was leaking. Or is too much brake fluid going back? So it's coming out here, drain out to the ground. That was, yeah, for unfortunate. Okay, but that because I pressured the main cylinder so far back that it had to be overflow. I wasn't thinking about it fast enough. Maybe I should try to take an out something, but I didn't. Okay, now I just have to get some soap and water and try to clean up a little up in the engine bay so the brake fluid is not lying on the paint and things too long because it's very acid so you can ruin it. But first we have to get on the wheel. Just checking that it's 120 Newton on the range here. Supposed to put it on more than 100, 120 Newton. Hundred and twenty Newton on all ten bolts well, aluminium rims uh, should have around 120 Newton. So after now I'm going out testing it and see if all the noise are gone. I should have put on some grease on the back of the brake pad, copper grease, but uh, I put it some smart grease, so I didn't have it there. Okay, maybe I get a little squeaking from there, but it's nothing compared to what it was. Yeah, now just out. I have to go out, just uh, drive it a little and see. The brake problem is of course the salt. 
no noise working like it should yeah it's no wonder <laughs> the brake pad was and the right hand side is right hand side front was completely warm though the left hand was a little better but uh, yeah it's no wonder it started to make noise kind of crazy that it haven't been changed before when I see the filter or something in the car is changed very short time ago yeah but at least now it's working yeah please uh, start following the channel please uh, put a like if the video helped you and please write comments that would be very very nice for the channel to grow and to be able to learn if there's something I should have checked up different on things. I should have put on copper grease on the back of those brake pads. That uh, I always do that, but uh, no, I'm not sure. I believe maybe I forgot the copper grease up to a friend when we were, when I was away helping him. So I have to get more or have to try to find it again. It's it was not where it was supposed to be. So. No, please come back, please uh, follow the channel. Be, yeah. How many more about the Euris, the Silicas, Camrys, uh, Land Cruiser? I have hundreds of videos and a lot of other cars, and it's coming more. So please come back, please start following. Thank you.